So we had a choir that was launched today for people who have been through our taking control program and have been a uh, benefit from our services. And the choir's been meeting for the last eight weeks and then they give a performance today for family and friends and also then for the staff in the office here at Chest Heart and Stroke. It all came about when I first came here to Chest Heart and Stroke to do the taking control program. That's how I first started at Chest Heart and Stroke. You know, and then it all everything just escalated from there. As you know yourself, they run all different things during the year in chest, heart and stroke. So when this come up, I decided to take a whole lot more to give it a go, you know. It's probably as good for the breathing too, but my, my problem, COPD. One look and I can hear a bell ring. One more look and I forget everything. Oh, 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 mamma mia, here I go again. My, my, what they love is this too, mamma mia. Well, for a lot of people who have long-term conditions, whether that be chest, heart or stroke conditions, they can become very isolated in their own homes um, and getting on with normal things in life become very difficult. Um, and where things are maybe not normal for everybody, it does have very good uh, benefits for your mental, physical and social health as well. So bringing the choir together was just a, a benefit of that for the people to come together and celebrate that they, although they're living with long-term conditions, that they can actually live normal lives and um, can celebrate that together. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who can live without it? I ask you. Um, the reason I'm involved with Northern Ireland Chest Heart and Stroke is I had a stroke myself. So um, in, I know how important the Northern Ireland Chest Heart and Stroke is and all the things that they do. Because when I was in hospital, the medical team were fantastic. It's when you get home from hospital, you start to feel a bit lost. That's when I contact a chest heart and stroke I did the six week self-management program and they taught me so many things about living with a uh, long-term illness and in fact I actually volunteer and co-lead the self-term with the self-management program at the minute myself my plan is that this could possibly be a regional choir then. Certainly we would have some in-house events that I would be very keen for them to stay together as a choir and they are going to be meeting on a monthly basis now. So and this is going to be the Belfast Choir. Um, we, I have been working on a project called Breathing Better, which is for respiratory conditions for people that are, are managing a long-term uh, respiratory condition. So we have launched that service now throughout Northern Ireland and we have three new coordinators actually starting in April who are going to be rolling that service out regionally. So that's going to be part of hopefully we'll be looking to maybe have inquiries in, in the five different trust areas in Northern Ireland. Can you hear me? Can you Everybody reacted really well. I think um, pe people see the benefits that we have gained from from this, and I could say, say actually it was the music therapist Karen who is really good as well, who has made such a difference to us. We have a very simple referral process that literally they can just get my name and number, come to me and we can let them know whatever service it is that would be most appropriate to them. Our first point of call is a home visit, we'll go out and see someone at home and hear their story and hear how they've got to where they're at and see if there's services that we offer would be suitable for them um, and then we'll take them forward from there. So it's simply a call into the main office or my email address or my number. Jesus.